called Two Old Men by D.D. D. Braxton. Mm. What in Henry Ford's name are you doing in town, Ed? Uh, I'm talking from the country just now. <coughs> No wonder I don't come to town very often. It takes hours to get here. Nonsense. Takes less than 25 minutes from your house. It took me three hours. Three? Three hours? How could that happen? You just hop on the highway and you're here. Didn't choose the highway. Of course I did. I just don't drive as fast as all them crazy people around here. <laughs> There's a sign that says minimum speed 45 MPH. When you put along at 15 or 20, you're the one that looks crazy. That's what that cop said. Can you believe it? Gave me a ticket for going too slow. The Department of Public Safety should be arrested just for allowing you to drive. <laughs> what do you mean? I was driving legal. He said I was doing 12 miles an hour in a 55 and had single-handedly backed up traffic for miles. <laughs> All those people honking their horns. They could have gone around me. I know! There was a bunch of them. All sounding like a flock of geese. Can you blame them? <laughs> Folks can get killed with you putting along at bicycle speed on the highway. A year ago, I was going 60, and I got pulled over for that, too. It was a school zone, Ed. There <laughs> were three kids in the crossing guard. <laughs> so, what you doing in town, old man? I ran out of my pills, so I figured I'd get up early and drive on into town and pick up some more. I have to get back and do some gardening before the sun gets too hot. Well, drugstore's closed, buddy. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll just walk on down there, wait till it opens. That'll be about 12 hours from now. <laughs> Hogwash. Mm -hmm. Look, I don't have my watch with me. But mm. I know it's about opening time. You senile old dog. They closed about 30 minutes ago. It's 8.30 at night. Are you kidding? Look, look at the sun. It's coming up. It's going down. It's going to be completely dark. Don't you have a night vision problem? Hey, don't matter none. The sun's on its way up, not down. We'll just see about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jed. What, Ed? It's my birthday. <laughs> Today was your birthday? Well, happy birthday, you old skeleton. <laughs> no, not today. Tomorrow? Oh, no. But I think it's coming up pretty soon. Like you think the sun's coming up? No, smart guy. <laughs> it's just around the corner. Next week, maybe. I'm not sure of an exact date. You're not sure of anything. Why, you drove all the way in town because you thought you'd be first in line when the pharmacy opened. Except you're not sure of your AMs or your PMs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know a donkey from a good friend of Look, look, it's getting darker. Mm -hmm. it, those are clouds. They usually come out in the early morning. <laughs> got news for you, old man. Morning ain't coming around for a while. I hope you're more certain of your birthday than you are of the time. <laughs> I know what time it is. 
I just not sure the exact day when I was born. Everybody knows their birthday. You must be losing your beans. <laughs> you even know when your birthday comes around. <laughs> I never knew. I don't keep up with all that sentimental hogwash. That's pathetic to forget which day you were born. Don't you know how old you are? <laughs> Can't say that I do. <laughs> but between us, we've had at least 150 birthdays. Don't think this one's going to make the earth stop turning. So you won't be celebrating? Oh, wait, I forgot. You don't know when to celebrate your birthday. <laughs> if you bought a cake, you wouldn't know how many candles were supposed to go on top. I will be celebrating, all right. You old coot, how can you celebrate a date you can't even identify? I do not have to know exactly when. I just know it's on its way. So maybe I'll start having fun now and party down until I'm sure it's over. <laughs> Interesting notion, but I don't see how you plan to celebrate. You don't drink, do you? Nope. I just stop when I have my liver removed. <laughs> liver? You can't have your liver removed and still live? That's why it's called a liver, you bonehead. <laughs> You never heard of a liver transplant? Of course I have. No doctor's gonna waste time putting a healthy liver in a worthless old body like yours, especially when it's attached to an equally worthless brain. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Besides, I just remembered. It wasn't my liver I had taken out. It was my gallbladder. I can buy the gallbladder story. The liver thing would have been hard to swallow. <laughs> They ripped it out last year. Oh, still hurts. <laughs> yeah. Here, here where they stitch me up. Get out of here! Get out of here. <laughs> I ain't touching any people, old body. Well, excuse me for living past any. I may be wrinkled and old, but I ain't contagious. I'll take your word on the scar. I ain't touching any part of that wrinkled old prune you call up, body. <laughs> You're missing out. The dandy scar. And this shape like Wyoming! Forget it! <laughs> I know I got a few years behind me, but... A few years? <laughs> You're more wrinkled than a 30-year-old turkey! <laughs> 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 How can you say that to me? <laughs> You're just waiting. Hurt my feelings, boy! You better take that back before I knock those false teeth down your throat. Take it back now, or you'll be sorry. What are you going to do about it? You wore your arm out in the 70s, so you can't hit me. You can barely walk with those crusty old legs, so you can't kick me. What does that mean, huh? I'll tell you. When I figure out when my birthday is, I'm not going to invite you. What do you have to say about that? Thank you. I'll be playing shuffleboard that day. You don't play shuffleboard. I'll learn. Good fun. I reckon I won't even have a party then. All my other friends are either dead or 20 years younger than us. Don't say us. I'm not as old and worn out as you. Oh, my great voice. I'm easily younger than you are. How would you know? A little, little You're not even certain which day you were born. Oh, man. I know I'm not as decrepit and senile as you are. <laughs> I don't need calendars and birth certificates for that. <clears throat> I, my mirror and my good pair of glasses tell me I'm younger. And better looking. Wake up to the facts, Ed. You're neither. It's as clear as those stars that are coming out. <laughs> don't think stars. They're just... They're... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he said this time.